let's quickly create a logout method within our users uh, users controller so we go public function public function logout it's really easy session destroy and let's redirect the user to home page that's it we just have to create this uh, this route because it doesn't exist so let's take this one let's create log logout users logout okay cool let's refresh and as you can see the navbar has changed that means that we, we have been logged out in a previous part we finished creating our profile page where we can update our users information and we created our dashboard so our user is logged in now but how can we actually protect some of our or some of the destinations of our application so that users who are not logged in don't have access to it in code igniter 4 there is actually a way to do it by using filters so the filters are actually the um, controllers that run that are being executed before or after the request what that means that let's say we want to access localhost dashboard we can specify a filter that will run a series of tests before code igniter executes the dashboard controller or also we can specify a set of rules that will be executed after code igniter runs the dashboard controller so let's see how we can do that in our scenario here we want to protect dashboard and profile pages to be accessible only by the users who are logged in of course one of the ways to do it is to go to let's say to the dash to the dashboard controller and check if session get is logged in or actually let's check if it's not logged in then redirect to login screen but this means that you have to copy this this piece of code here and then you have to go to the um, to our profile page which is located in another controller let's say here and imagine if you have 20 different URLs that should be protected so code igniter provides us with with the filters functionality that helps us to avoid uh, creating uh, from from repeating our code and spreading it across the application and keeping it keep uh, makes us and helps us to keep our code clean without repetitions and without unnecessary code so for that let's go to our app folder config and let's go inside the filters 
.php file. So what you can see here, first of all, we already have three filters specified, CSRF, Toolbar and Honeypot. You can learn about those more inside the documentation. What I want to create is, I want to create our new filter, which we will specify here. And inside the documentation, CodeIgniter actually provides the code snippet to start with. So let's go filters, controller filters. And you, you grab this piece of code here. And let's, first of all, let's create in our app a new folder filters where we'll, that will, this folder will store all of the files that we need. Oh, actually it is already created. Okay. So let's go inside the filters. Let's create a new file and let's call it alf so that we know that this is the ALF filter that will check authenticated users only. Again, the file name should be the same with the class name. ALF. And as you can see, it has two methods here, before and after. You are not required to use both of them, but it is required to have both of them inside your inside your class because this filters all the filters filters classes they implement the filter interface that requires these two methods to be set it up once we created this before we continue typing our our logic here let's go back to filters and specify our new uh, let's add our new filter uh, within the aliases. So what we have here is app filters. So the alias, the, fir the first key that we specify here can be anything. It's just for reference. So let's say alf. Let's give it the path of alf. Sorry, alf class. And now our filter is ready to be used. How do we use it? So one of the ways to use it is actually to go to your routes, to your routes file. And let's see what we have here. We have profile route that we want to protect. So we say filter. And we give the alias name, alf. Let's make the same for the dashboard. So it is dashboard index filter alf. Of course, we don't need to match it. It always should be only get. And let's check. Oh, no, before we check, we have to create actually some logic here. So what we want in case the user is not logged in. So let's say if no session and get is logged in redirect to home page and that's it so let's go back to our application let's log out and try to access your dashboard now okay dashboard okay it is still in place so 
I guess the redirect function we specify here needs some adjustments and the adjustment that it needs is that we have to return the redirect let's try again first let's remove the string don't need it anymore I hopefully and let's reload yeah perfectly so as you see we are redirected to the local host same let's go to profile no nope, no access to profile neither well let's create now the second filter that is for no auth so that if the user is logged in prevent access to to the um, login screen and the registration page also so I copied the auth file and now we say that if session is logged in then let's go to dashboard like that and of course we have to add it here no auth no auth and to our routes so here we will do filter no auth and also here let's make no auth so let's try to log in now login okay this is fine profile page works fine let's try to access the login page no no access there let's go to register no access there either so all this works fine but i think we have one more issue here and the issue is let's log out for for a moment because we modified our default routes meaning that let's say our profile page by default should be accessed by users profile right but we don't use this URL at all therefore we have to take care about all the methods inside users controller because they are still accessible and not protected by the filters let's say this page here I can access it by users or I can go to the user's profile and it, it is also will not be protected by protected by our filter so how can we solve this let's create one more filter where we will check or of all of our users all of our users URLs so let's go first to copy one of our existing filters let's create it users check users check here also so the logic here is let's let's say that if segment one of our uri equals users then 
we have to redirect the request to the uh, let's say to, uh, we have to redirect the request to the second segment meaning that let's say we have localhost slash profile no slash users slash profile so in this case we want to redirect our visitor to redirect to segment number two okay let's do this so let's start here let's get again our URI service and let's say that if URI get segment get segment one equals users uh, equals users so we don't need this but what case cases we have so the first case is like this and the second case Yeah. the first case is like this and the second case is like this so the first case is when we don't have the second parameter the second segment at all so let's check this inside the first if so if segment 2 equals nothing then Let's store in a, in a variable redirect and say segment equals this. Else, if there is a segment two, then the segment will be equal to segment two and let's remove this so by adding this piece of code i think we should be fine by protecting our users if someone goes wants to access directly our users controller let's check this yeah we never loaded it so we have this user check we have to add it inside the filters let's say users check by the way this name is completely up to you you can specify you can name it any way you like and the name of the class is users check but wait now in the route we don't have all, all these routes and should we create them all no we don't have to we can go to filters and utilize this before this global globals uh, variable with before and after requests so whatever we will specify here will run on every request so we start like this and let's give it a try now Prof users profile still runs let's check if it executes Yep. 
yes looks like it executes okay same mistake we have to return so let's save let's remove this and save again profile too many redirects i think we have to add as we have to add a slash here so what we have is like this let's try it again users profile yes and now it works so let's try dashboard actually dashboard one should not be affected uh, let's go to users let's go to users register yes redirected to registered so seems like it's working just fine okay one last test alex alexlancer.com here also so we log in we go to profile let's test if we go directly to users profile it redirects and let's access users yes as you can see we are redirected to our dashboard so our login system is ready thank you all for watching any comments will be appreciated if you have any thoughts on how we can improve this code please share it in the comment section thank you all once again See you in the next tutorial.